and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Sun Wake of the Ravager. When we last left off, we had solved the murder mysteries that were afoot here in the lower mines of Tyr. However, that was only just a small part in the grand scheme of the Mind Flayers who were behind them. And what are their plans? Well, we're just going to have to find out what they are and stop them. Because, well, Mind Flayers, bad news and all that. Anyways, before I go ahead and get down into that tunnel, I just want to go ahead and start doing a little bit of pre-buffing. And of course, I will have to mention that I have gone ahead and dropped off my some of my gear, so that way I could make sure that I have no issues. There's the fireplace. I'm going to use that, and let's see. I'm gonna cast some of these again on the rest of my party and make sure Selexat has all of her spells. But then again, we do have that flask full of the waters from the Pool of Heroism, which we may just make use of. And let's go ahead equip, or not equip, cast some enlarge on our per party. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and equip. L's Drinker on Halton, because the extra damage that Vampiric Touch can deal will help out in the end. And of course, yes, I did yeah, drop off all the extra containers and even all the fruits that I weren't that I wasn't using onto another character, so that way I can Yeah. Gotta take precautions. But anyways, time to go here. The passage just sends the passage descends into the dark. Go down? Why, yes, I do want wish to go down. I sense something. There is magic down there. Powerful magic. I've not felt this since. Promere! Oh, it seems we're on the right track. And, uh-oh. Surface dwellers! You have come all this way to meet your demise! And, uh-oh. The tunnel you came through collapses! Yep. That's... Yeah, once you come here, you are pretty much stuck. So, let's just go ahead and start smashing in some Mind Flayer faces and... Also, the brain of an intellect devourer. As you can see, they're leaving bodies this time around. Huh. Well, we'll have to check what's on their bodies and just go ahead and use an arrow right there. Oh, can I should have been using two, should have been using arrow shots because that's one of the few things that seem to deal any decent damage on a intellect devourer. Okay, there go. And your arrow supply should be now at an even number this time. Yeah, that would have that would have kind of bothered me. Anyways, let's check out what these guys have on them. Well, this guy has just some flare icker, which is pretty useless. However, this guy happens to have a rod of fireball. Now that is definitely going to be something that Alora is going to want to have, and well, it's the she's the only one that can use it, actually. So yeah. Now, if this was a if this was D and D fifth edition, wands would actually be pretty useful because they have like only like seven charges, like most of them, anyways. Like for instance, the slave looks at you with unfocused eyes. You will not take my mind. Uh oh. This guy is hostile, yeah. There's a bunch of slaves here, and we- Sorry, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. A Wand of Fireballs only has seven charges, but it regains 1d6 plus one charges every day, and it can be equipped- Any spellcaster can attune to it so that they can actually use it. Kill- Kill those- Those things! Oh, jeez. He's- not doing so well either. You have anything to say? Slave looks at you with unfocused eyes. Ah! Oh god. Yeah. The mind flares seem to have really messed these guys. Ooh, there's someone different. 
The slaves look sent you with unfocused eyes. You will not take my mind! Uh-oh. Not another one. I'm sorry! Oh, crap. Yeah. Also, I should check if... Do I have my... Okay, I, I do. Well, you're just gonna guard, because I'd rather not waste anything. I mean, it's only a slave and... Oh. Someone has scribbled a message on the wall using some kind of dark ink. They killed everyone. We couldn't fight them. And now we're to be food. I saw them take Meridol, and I know that I'm next. I have no hope of escaping, but I'm not going to die passively. I'll take as many of them with me as I can. Oh, someone, someone with a dying wish. Well, let's check what you have to say. No, please, stay back! Keep away from me, please! Oh, dear. And, uh, yeah, there's a corpse here with some stuff. Just random loot that you can get. Alright, now... Okay, just gotta check. Select that. Okay, here, connects. Yeah, if I happen to screw up something, I'll... Oh, wait. Make sure to save there. It... Because I don't want to overwrite that, because I probably have to do stuff if I mess this up. All right. Uh, yeah. Finally, come to take me away, huh? Well, just try it. I will not go easily. Who are you? What? Y you speak? Wait. You are not slaves? What are you doing here? There are mind flayers all over the place. I'm here to stop the mind flayers. Are you? My name is Granger. I know this place pretty well. I would like to get back at these things. Let me help you. They've killed many of my friends. How do you know this place well? So well? I was a slave here, but my master let his spell slip, and I killed him. I was sent here to be used for dinner. I may have been under a spell, but I still remember what was going on. I know how to get to the Elder Brain. Which is the only thing that will keep the mind fla which is the only thing that keeps the mind flares here. You destroy the elder elder brain, and the mind flares will be finished. I will try to help you whenever possible. Although I'm not so not much good in combat. If you have any questions, just ask me. And we now have Granger following us. Sweet. And here we got 500 coins and 1,000 coins. There we go. Now follow us. Can we talk to you? Uh, yes, we can. Uh, yes, is there something I can help you with? Where are we? We are in the storage area. This is where they keep the slaves that are going to be used as food. Tell me about the Mind Flayers. What can I tell you about them? How are the Mind Flayers organized? From what I saw, there is a leader of the Mind f of the Flayers. He's called the Primarch. Primarch? Primarch? Under him are two others, called Dura Durex. They control interactions between interaction between the leaders of the three aspects. Tell me about the three aspects. There are three aspects that the mind flayers center their lives around: eating, conquering, and games. From what I understand, each aspect has a leader. Why do the flayers eat brains? I don't know why. I guess they need to. I guess it's like it's like asking why we have to drink water. What do you know about the Elder Brain? The Elder Brain is a collection of the minds of all the dead Mind Flayers from this group. It knows everything that all the Mind Flayers know, and can sense the presence of any intelligent creature. I can almost guarantee that it already knows you're here. When I was a slave, I heard that the Brain cannot exactly pinpoint intruders, just the distance to them. So, they'll be on alert. That's all I know about the Mind Flayers. Let's see... Tell me about yourself. I was working in the mines for a few months. I was one of the first ones to be captured by the Mind Flayers. I've been here ever since. Uh, that's rude, so let's not do that. How do we get to the Elder Brain from here? From here we need to go north into the kitchens. I'll talk to you later. Sure thing. Alright. Yeah, we can... I'll make sure to talk to him as we go into each room. So that way we can see what will... See where we are. Well, of course, this place is pretty obvious where it should be, but I thought I might as well go ahead and just see the dialogues 
bits of dialogue that he has. This is the eating area. They serve humans as food. We gotta go through the northern exit to get to the Elder Brain from here. Yeah. And let's see. Do you say the same thing? Uh, where are we? This is the eating area. This is the eating area for the flares. They gather here to dine on people like you and I, you and me. I don't want to think about it. Uh, how do we get to the Elder Brain from here? The northern exit. That'll take us to the central junction. I'll talk to you later. Sure thing. All right. Now, one thing I want to go ahead is a voice bro brooms. No, sweeping. Sweep the brain. A voice booms inside your head, apparently coming from the dining room. Soup! Now! Uh, well, yeah. Well, that guy is just gonna go ahead and take soup to the mind flares. Let's go ahead and check these crates. Laura opens the lid to f lid of the crate and finds preserved brains inside. Ugh. And do 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 do. Laura opens the lid of the crate, finding a jar of mind flare ichor inside. Ichor, ichor. I don't know. It's one of those words. Not exactly sure. Laura opens the lid of the crate, finding a jar of mind flare ichor inside. How? Oh. Cooking poisons. Use sparingly. We're gonna take all these. Cause you can probably guess what we're gonna do. Cause what were to happen if we use? Wait, cooking poison? Why would you? I guess some. People have a tolerance for it. But anyways, let's go ahead and... Let's see. The slave fills the bowl with soup. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'll let him do that so that way he can do that. And you know what? Let's just drop this ichor. Wait, can I put this in the bowl? Nope. It's just pointless items that just clog up your inventory. And Atticus has the poisoned... Okay. Alora pours the, the vial of poison into the soup. And let's go ahead and... I'll just go ahead and drop these so that way I can just, like, go ahead and... Instead of having to go back in and out of my inventory. Alora po pours the poison. More poison. And finally, more poison. And right here are the mind flayers who are eating. Fill my bowl this time! Careful, slave! This, if this is cold, you'll be for dessert. Don't skimp on the brains, slave. I like mine chunky. Don't skimp on, uh, I like, he likes his brains chunky too. And he leaves the bowl on the floor. Why? Shouldn't you take that to the kitchen? I know what else is in here. I just can't place it. And anything else? Now this is eating. Oh, that's prob that voice is probably going to kill my throat. Four stars. Eh, not quite five stars. I didn't think it could get, get any better than before. Jeez, are these guys just constantly eating? I'm still not satisfied. Could be better. Ugh. If only my... If my... Githserai Monk were here, he'd frickin' go nuts. But then again, Githserai are... The Gith are actually quite barbaric in this setting. A voice booms inside your head. We grow hungry! More soup, slave! And he goes ahead, grabs the bowl. The slave fills the bowl with soup. Brain soup. And... Don't skimp on the brains, he likes his junky. This is called... FASTER NEXT TIME, SLAVE! This better not be cold! And... Complain and complain. Wine, wine, wine. Blah! Shut up! And... Wait. I know what's in here. It's... Bloop! This is fantastic! I've never eaten better! And... It's so good. Five stars! Incredible! Yes, enjoy a five-star death. <laughs> this is magnificent! Uh, close, but not perfect. Congratulations for poisoning the Mind Flayers into oblivion. Each party member receives 15,000 experience points. Yeah! <laughs> oh, subterfuge can do you wonders. 
Oh, that was funny. Oh, five-star deadly... Five-star meal. Kitchen slave. Slave stares at you blankly. These slaves are being controlled. There's no way to release them, and they can't hear you. Uh, what are you doing here? Slave offers no response. Can you tell me about this place? Do you want to escape? I'm here to rescue you. Yep, goodbye. I'll be back. Yeah, these guys, they're all pretty much the same. So there's nothing we can do. Ha <laughs> ha! You dead! You are dead! 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 You are super dead! Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> oh, it's just like... Ugh. So, dining so good, it's to die for. And, ooh! What's this? Well, it's an orb. That doesn't really look like an orb. But, okay. Anyways, let's use it. Laura hears thoughts spoken directly into her mind as she touches the orb. Laura cannot stand to finish to listen to the current menu the kitchen is offering for the mind flayers. The preparation descriptions are enough to make her sick. Ugh! Yeah, that is... Nasty! But anyways, let's go ahead, save it, and initiate some combat! Frickin... Get over here! So, the other warns us of you, and here you are! Surrender now, and prepare. Perhaps we will spare you. Die, you, uh, purple... purple, uh, things! Sorry. Sorry, wrong room, I'll leave. Your mistake was to come here in the first place! We will feed on your minds! And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and deal with the... Mind flares, because they're the they're the bigger threat here. Because they have they do indeed have psionics and oh, other yeah I think that one just had there was an orb behind it. All right, and of course Granger isn't going to participate in this fight, so don't even bother. Die and go ahead and smash them. Yeah, since the Mind Flayers do have magic resistance, they will sometimes, they will more often than not avoid the effects of Vampiric Touch. Oh, yes! Oh man, now that I know how to use sneak attacks properly, it just makes this game so much easier. You know what? Select set, fire away! Yeah, consumed an acid! And just F halt and smack him. Whee! I think the Oh yeah, that's right, the Elves Drinker is going to actually deal some damage because it's not physical. I don't know, maybe if I equip a piercing weapon, then I could do it. Ah, dang it. Okay. Da -da -da -da. And Flex it! Paralyze it! Is it paralyzed? You know what? Actually, let's go... Ah, No, it's not paralyzed. Oh, frickin'... Okay, Halton was a little stuck there. Okay, come on. Ed... Oh, frickin'... You serious? Oh, hell. Ugh, frickin... No, don't fire at your teammates now! And it's dead. There we go. You got nothing. More ichor. And... A key! And we'll take that anyways. And let's see what's on this... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! Select that. Ah, son of a... Blah. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and beat them again and, well, yeah. Well, all right, just go ahead, load the game, and, oh, frickin', yeah, I'll just pause it here, because the tail's just, he's just gonna... Powerful magic. I really wish the game I had not decided, the people who made this game had not decided to do that, because that was pretty stupid. But anyways, I'll catch you back, I'll get back to you once I frickin' manage to screw up all these guys again.
Yeah, finally managed to get that freaking over with, and I still have selects that psionics. By the way, I actually did, unfortunately, while I was paused, I managed to catch a 300 exact. Freaking 300 damage exactly, what the hell? Freaking freaky looking swamp chicken numbers right there. And pre preparations of the brain is very important. Fresh kills are, of course, a must. First, one must begin by serving, severing the spot. Or re releases the orb in disgust. Yeah, speaking of... Speaking of... 300, the exact number, my channel had just surpassed that exact subscriber mark. And, well, here's to that, I guess. Now, we could smash the, the chest open, we could unlock it with the chef's key, who's we who we killed, or we can pick the lock, which I'm going to have Alora do. Alora goes to work on the intricate lock Applying the skills of an artisan thief, the lock springs open. Congratulations, Alora earns 250 experience. 200, 2,500. Ah, that, ew, that would have been a lot. Within the chest, you discover an unusual triangular-shaped key and a scroll. Well, that scroll just so happens to be a scroll, a spellbook of Delay Blast Fireball, a more powerful version of Fireball that goes off in two to five rounds after casting. Yeah, that is a 7th level spell, by the way. So we'll put that in there. We'll drop this because we don't have any more use for it. That's right where, it sh where it's supposed to go. So why bother keeping something around that you can't use? Oh yeah, I forgot to look at something. Something rather gnarly. Just really should have looked at this, but I decided not to. Might The description might be different now that I've applied the poisons to it. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. That soup's made out of... Well, just don't eat it. Soup. The soup contains chunks of things that look fami rather familiar. Try the soup? No! Considering that we've also put a whole bunch of poison in there? Uh, yeah, probably gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna have Alora be a cannibal. Ugh. Yeah, yeah no, just... Ugh. No, 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 all my nope. Enter the passageway? Yes. Do, 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 do. Please. Oh. This central junction branches off all over the Underdark, which is where we are. We've got to go through the West Passage if we want to get to the Elder Brain. And, well, I'm just going to save right here. And by the way, every time you come into this area, these Mind Flayers will always appear. And they blocked us. Oh, well, they're dead. Frickin' I hate oh, no path from here. No path from here. Frickin' Granger, you stupid You frickin' gotten Halton's way. Also I should have Never mind. Say I was gonna say I was gonna maybe should have gone for that guy, but nope. That was all good. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 This place is going to be a freaking struggle. And I forgot to freaking turn off the speech animation. Because the thing is, when you turn off speech, this, of course, will make loading times a lot faster since you don't have to sit through him just babbling on again. All right, Atticus. Do, do, do. Too bad I couldn't get behind that guy because... Alora's sneak attack is by far the most potent thing in our arsenal. Swords, axes, the works, as well as thieves. Sneaksy thieves. Okay, what the hell? Okay, also, this actually would be a good time to show off what happens with the... Yeah, I know I'm reloading, but this is honestly too... This isn't too bad. Yeah, see? Right there. Totally... Okay, quickly, put it on select set, and have your kinetic select, so that way the game decides to... Okay. Don't spread out the damage now, children! Go on! Get him! Okay. Ooh. Yeah, then, then again, the thing is, one of the... Ah! 
one of the major factors that allowed Alora to do so much damage was because the fact is that there was a... Freaking, you serious? See, look at this. You know what? I'm just going to keep this in just to show you how much of a stoop... Like, this is so stupid. Come on, game. Okay, cast. Make sure it's on your freaking stupid kinetics. And just... Bring it, you screw heads. Come on. And, well, that guy's dead. Yeah, see, look. At least you get to see this, and, well, I'm glad that I don't have to stop here. Unless the game really gives me a hard wall to deal with, then I'm probably going to call it quits. Ah, uh, freaking, you know what? I'll just get back to you once I get this freaking stupid combat to stop freaking taking away my kinetic abilities. Ugh, freaking annoying. Right after I paused the game, it allowed me to keep my kinetics. Son of a bee, what the frick. Now, he did say that to go to the western side, but I'd actually want to go ahead and check out the other areas as well, because I want to show off a little bits of dialogue, and I also forgot to... This is the lab area. This area is heavily guarded, so I suggest we leave. Besides, the Elder Brain is back the way we came. Yeah, well, who knows what else could be here. We do want to check things out. Orb, use. As you touch the orb, you hear the thoughts of the Mind Flayer that made this recording. Its voice hisses from the orb directly into your mind. Examiner Iroquois ugh, was killed today when he misjudged the reaction time on chemical mixture D3. The reaction time is approximately 30 seconds, allowing but little time to escape. That's... yeah, that's like... It's like, what, five rounds? Yeah, that's five rounds. Because in D&D, &D, like, a round nowadays is like six seconds. Luckily, Examiner Rukor and his slave were the only ones destroyed. Relief is appropriate. Only small portions of the chemicals were mixed. Huh. Well, that's... As you touch the orb... Let's see, what does this one say? The, the, the analysis of the gas is, pros, is proceeding as planned. I have detected an inconsistency with the formula, though. Substitution of element... E4 for that of component D9 will produce a reaction similar to that of chemical D mixture D3. Researcher Bristis, when, when you read this report, take special note. Element E4 and component D9 are identical in every way but in their essence. Accordingly, I have removed all of, the el all of element D4 or E4 from main lab storage. And I would and move it to my storage area. I request that none of element E4 be taken or stored in main lab storage. If one ha was to ac be accidentally switched with the other, a great explosion would result, no doubt setting our plans back. Huh. Methinks I got an idea. As you touch the orb, blah, 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 early tests of the gas by Inquisitor Carcanus have proven a success. The test slave succumbed to the gas in a matter of seconds. Unfortunately, the gas corrupted the slave such that his brain was inedible. So, the mind flares? Were they behind the gas? Well, we'll find out. An unfortunate accident occurred today when Examiner Brovatis was exposed to the gas to the gas in Lab 1. Luckily, all the vents were closed at the time and the gas did not spread. Rovatis was killed, but not as quickly as the human slave. The gas had a deteriorating effect on him first, which resulted in death an hour or so later. The gas dissipated some time after. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and check this out. A bookcase. Allura must be closer to... Dang it. They're so tiny. Uh, let's go ahead. The shelf is filled with chemicals and beakers containing mysterious formulae with mixture F8 and, com and compound W2. Don't smash the shelf, otherwise you'll cause quite a stir. Not the kind of stir that you'd want. 
And, hmm, element Z9, or Z9, extract 2A, compound W4, element E4, mixture F8, component D9, and Illudium Q38. You know, let's go ahead and take that element for E4, because that may just come out to be useful. But how so? Well, you're going to have to find that out next time. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video.